Hello everyone, my name is Dorian and welcome to Red Bull Ring. We are with the Lamborghini Huracan GT3 Evo. That's a long name and I'm just going to show you guys the lap real quick and then we're going to take it corner by corner. I'm using the fixed sprint setup, the 20 minutes one. Uh, it really works well here I find and this car really suits this track quite nicely. So it's just a great combo, I'm going to enjoy the heck out of it this week. I'm going to show you the outside angles as well, it's all about how much curb you want to take on each particular corner very interesting track if you enjoy it leave a like and if you want to see more of it subscribe to the channel let's get on track Okay, so we're coming up to turn number one. Let's look for a breaking point. It's going to be right before the 100. But first, you'd, no you'd notice that uh, I'm using the green stuff a lot here. And that's really vital on this track. Uh, basically, you want to utilize it on all of the corners. So keep that in mind. We always want to keep the right tires or the left tires uh, if it's, you know, if it's a left-hander. We want to keep them on the white line, you know, just, just beyond it. Or else we'll get a uh, an off-track. That's usually how it goes besides the final or final to last corner now um yeah i'm just going to break right before the 100 speaking very 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 high and gradually releasing the brakes just gently and uh yeah around the 50 mark is when i'm going to start to turn in the car you can see the wheels starting to move right here and gradually releasing the brakes trail braking all the way into the apex you can see a lot of steering input at this point and uh, yeah, just looking for the red stuff here. Just want to mount this curb. Don't touch the the yellow stuff. See the car is bouncing just a, lo a little bit, but if you got plenty of throttle at this point, you're, you're good. That's going to give you the best exit possible because you really want to be early on the power here. If you find yourself having to wait past this apex or until you get to this apex to accelerate, then you're probably losing a lot of time on the exit here. You need to compromise the entry just a little bit. You make sure you're back on throttle earlier because this straight is just huge and you really want a good exit to be able to defend your position to attack other people you know so you want to be able to do that open up the wheel as the car kind of lands and settles down from the uh curb on the inside and flat out using the, this uh yellow bump stop just to indicate where the limit is so past it you can go slightly past it and you won't get an off track, but pretty much past it is an off track. So you can mount it and you'll be okay. If you can avoid mounting it and still carry the same amount of speed, you'll have a better exit because that little bounce is costly. Now immediately taking the car to the right here, just to take a short route and again diagonally switching to the left. Again, taking the shortest route possible into turn three now. And we're using the AstroTurf, breaking before the 100 right wheels on uh just past the white line here so you'll see uh, exactly where the car is positioned so right around here under braking and you'll see it again on turn three on turn turn four sorry turn three so uh yeah braking right before the 100 peaking very 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 high here uh we're going uphill plenty of grip i'm not worried about it even if the abs kicks in it's still, it's still going to turn in as long as you release it on time. So you can see I'm just gradually releasing it. 
at this point just a tiny bit to minimize the ABS as this color uh, changes down into first gear you can see it here just now into first you can see my brakes starting to release as I do and the wheel turning in not trying to turn in too early here I just want to clip this uh, red and white curb nicely you can see I'm already back on a power quite early so as soon as my front tire touches the red and white curb starting to accelerate out a lot of wheel input at this point so I'm just going to hold for a sec wait for it to open up and then slam on the power all the way to 100% and using all of the you know all the green stuff and a little bit of the yellow stuff is fine on the way out and again we're taking the shortest route so taking the car to the right diagonally to the left here taking short routes maybe a couple hundreds of a second if you do it right and uh, yeah it's why not just use it now you see the same trend here we're breaking right before the 100 using all of the green stuff breaking very 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 hard hard um yeah, it's it's just a difficult corner this because you're breaking downhill. It seems like it's uh, it's an, a safe place to overtake, but uh, kind of sketchy going around the outside. So if someone is defending, they can very easily put you, you know, on in the dirt. Uh, you know, Hamilton v uh, that Red Bull kid, I forgot his name, Albin. Yeah, uh, that comes to mind here. So right before the 50, you can see me starting to turn in, or right past it, really. Right as we reach the 50, the steam is starting to turn in the car, releasing the brakes gradually. I'm now in second gear. I'm going to ask for the car for a lot of turning now. So I'm just going to release the brakes, trail brake all the way into this inside curb. You really want to take advantage of this inside curb. There's a lot of time to gain by that. And you don't want to just hug it the whole way through. You want to fully mount it. And I'll let you see that from the outside. So you can see how much I'm actually using. It's quite aggressive. Uh, as far as I know, if you touch this black stuff, uh, you're going to get an off track. So this is pretty much as much as you want to cut it, really. And yeah, just accelerating out again. We're in second gear. Squeezing the throttle, waiting on it. Be nice and patient, because there's a point of no return here. Once you clip the dirt, you're just going to have a bad time. So you want to maximize your, your exit here and just use all of the track, but be very, very cautious of the dirt here. Taking the car to the right, short route, and line the car up for the next corner. And again, we're, we're maximizing our approach, but this time not that much. So it's not as aggressive with the track usage. Oh, wait, my bad. It really is. I haven't looked at it from the outside yet, but it, it, it never feels like it's that aggressive. But I guess, uh, I guess it is. Yeah, my perspective is different from right to left, I guess. So we're going to break pretty early here. And the reason for that is because I want to line up the car nicely. It's reverse cambered. So the, the, the corner has a tendency to chuck you out. You're going to oversteer on entry and you're going to understeer on exit. And you really want to have a nice settled car all the way through here. You don't want to do anything abrupt. Be as smooth as you can. This is where carrying speed and just being smooth on entry is vital. You're not slamming the brakes anymore. You're doing everything nice and gentle. So peaking at around 70%, gradually releasing the brakes. Down into third gear now, and I'm trail braking ever so slightly just to get the car where I want it, which is right around here. You can even mount this curve. In fact, I might have maybe a little bit. You can go all the way into the green stuff. It does have a tendency to sometimes it's kind of 50 50 to kick the back end out, which costs you a lot of time. So I avoid, you know, trying to get used to it too much. See how much of the, tra of the actual track I'm using here. So just the red stuff at this point. But I had uh, some occasions where I used all of this curb and a bit of the green stuff and was, you know, just as quick, maybe a little bit faster, but it's not as consistent, I feel like. So the red stuff is just there for you. Use that and you'll have an easier time getting consistent laps. You can see I'm just squeezing the throttle here. I'm just not, I'm not slamming anything. I'm not doing anything abrupt with the wheel. Slowly squeezing the throttle. You can see a little bit of hesitation on exit. Just trying to make sure I'm not going to wash out too wide here because this much is fine if you go here that could be an off track very easily so uh you want to sort of stay in this area and uh yeah just clipping the dirt a little bit here would be an off track uh, I'm, i like upshifting into fourth even though you don't really have to in terms of technically it's not beneficial you don't have enough time to accelerate in fourth but it does stabilize the car uh, on entry here 
that's that's something that I realized is really useful. Even though it, you, it, you're not getting any uh, top end speed from it, you're actually a lot more stable on entry. And because of that, you use the downshift and the third to rotate the car when you need it. You have more control that way. And yeah, I'm just going to start braking. So as you can see, as this uh, green stuff kind of ends, we got this triangle here, nice and easy braking point. And not slamming it, 50%, gradually releasing it. Still in fourth, mind you. I want to turn in late, so I'm just going to downshift now. Trail brake ever so slightly and already starting to accelerate from this point on on so look at how early it is car's gonna grip there's tons of grip on this corner you can hug this curb the whole way through you can mount it you can uh you know the later you are the less you'll need this curb on entry i mean if you turn in later you won't need this curb as much but if you're early that's really going to help you uh, prevent the understeer and i have a tendency to turn in early here i don't know why i guess i don't trust the car enough and uh, yeah, just, you know, you can see I'm just squeezing the throttle. I'm not doing anything too, uh, you know, these high, high speed corners, you want to be nice and gentle, just squeezing it and trying to stay committed from this point on. Squeezing third, you know, just maxing out the revs on third gear here because you're going uphill. You want as many revs for fourth gear as possible. Now, again, we're going to use the green stuff right before the 50. So not right before, I would say. This is actually closer to 100, if I'm, if I'm honest. You can break earlier to the 50, I mean closer to the 50, but uh, I find it to be uh, not beneficial when you exit the, this uh, this corner. So I, I try to break early and, uh, you know, try to get a good exit for the final corner. So breaking right around here, I would call this the 80 something. Speaking around 80%, down into fourth gear. You can see I'm turning in the car while trail braking. You want to trail brake for a very, very long time here. You can see how long I'm trail braking. I already slowed the car down enough. Doing the right speed down into fourth. The car is rotating. And I'm just going to stay on the trail brake just to clip this curb. And I'm still on it, still on it. And now I'm going back to the power. So you can see there's th that transition right here. That's really vital when you want to make sure you got as much track to the inside as possible. You use as much track on the inside. Because you're gonna wash out here no matter what you'll do and there's a point of no return when you touch the red stuff here or when you leave uh, the red and white curve i'm not sure but just slightly to the left here you're gonna get an off track so you want to try and avoid that we're still in fourth gear and you want to downshift into third for the final corner and that's going to happen right around here there's no visual marker uh i don't have one at least you guys can try to find out for yourselves different field of views will find different uh markers I'm looking at the apex and I'm kind of guessing where I need to break. Earlier you'll break, the closer you'll be to the apex, but there's an off track there, so you don't want to break too early. But you do want to be close to the apex because uh, you know it's going to give you a great uh, ex it's going to give you a great exit and going to help you on this lap and then one after that. So yeah, speaking pretty high, we're going downhill, so around 80%. Gradually releasing it down into third at this point. You see, I'm starting to turn in the car quite early and quite slowly. And clipping this, uh, you know, let's see how much I'm actually clipping it. I have no idea, actually. Never looked at it from the outside. Come on, mouse, you can do it. There you go. Yeah, quite a lot, it seems. I think as long as you've got your left tires uh, to the left of this white line, you're, you're okay. I'm not entirely certain where's that limit is, where's, where's the limit is in, in terms of off track. But this is, I think, pretty much as much as you can. I don't think you can do much more than that. That's not the right view, is it? Okay. So, yeah, you can see I'm already back on going back to the power nice and gradually. I don't want to understand. I don't want to wash out too much here. You don't have a choice. You're going to wash out, but you don't want, you want to minimize that by being very smooth on your throttle application very early as well because you have this big straight. Only now into 100%. Let go wide. And pretty much, this is pretty much as much as you want to use it. And slowly return to the track. That's it. That's going to give us a 128.959. Hope you guys enjoyed this track guide. If you did, please leave a like and let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, if you want to see more of it, subscribe to the channel. Hop over to my Discord. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.